Hey guys, I hope you all are doing good. A couple of weeks ago, I uploaded this video about how to write inside of a Word document using C Sharp on Visual Studio. But this last day, someone called Yuzin write me an email and he was asking me how he could write inside of a specific table. And that's what we're gonna do in this video. So let's get started. Hey guys. Thank you for watching videos on my channel. Please think about to subscribe for helping me doing more such of videos. Now I'm gonna invite you to create a new Windows form application. So you know all the stuff. File, new project. Then you will have to choose Windows form app. Then you set the name of your project, the folder actually where your project is gonna be saved. Then you push OK. I think that's almost clear. So the next thing you can do is to add references for Microsoft Word into your project. Because if you don't do that, then you will have a lot of failure that appears into your code. So then you will have to go to your solution explorer. Then you click right on references. Then you say add references. You go to com and here you can simply write word. And then you will have this library appears. So according to what version of Visual Studio you're using, uh, this can be different. But whatever, just choose it and push OK. And that's will be all for that part. The next thing you can do is to add some couple of text boxes into your form. So actually, I just add four of them because I want things to be simple as possible. Uh, you also have to add some button for save and quit. And the next thing I need to specify is that you need to create your template file, your Word template file. So this is mine. Actually, as you can see, I have two tables. So whatever text it's not important so actually we're gonna write inside of this table here I've created actually in the code we will load the index of this table and we'll have access on this table from the C sharp code so you can have thousand tables in your template if you want you will have to know the index this is the index one this is two and if you have another table here in the bottom then this is this will be then uh, four three five and so on so that's it about the template file and Please think about to close your template file when you're using it because if you don't do it, your program will generate some errors and uh, this will be, you know, so much thing to struggle with. Well, I think that's too much theory. Let's do some uh, coding stuff. So now you just have to view your code. And before you start writing any code, think about to add these references. So using Word, Microsoft, uh, Interrupt. So actually, I just define this type dev here because i didn't want to write this all the time so i think you know this but i need to specify it so then um i'm just going to explain the code because we don't have a huge code actually as i said i didn't want something too much complicated i just wanted to understand the, the principle so here i just defined a string to access my template file so i think that's almost clear so as I said before, it was important to you to save your, your template file inside of the debug folder because you will just through this variable here have access on it and then you could just open it from there. Now I create a word application actually, as you can see here, and I set it to true the visibility. So we're actually going to see what's going to happen. So I did this because I didn't want to do the save as you can see here in the bottom save as this is not important actually so we just set it to true and i create a new document inside of that word application so as you can see here open uh, a new document and uh, you know and then i active i make that document active actually because i'm gonna write inside of that and then i create a table you know actually this table is loaded from the document you see document table with index one so as I explained you before, I had two tables inside of my Word document. So if I want to specify the table two, then I will simply put two here. And then everything that I will write here will be written inside of the second table. But because we want to write inside of the first table, that's why I say index one. So this is the idea of this. So and now here in the bottom, I just access all cells of the table and write inside simply. So those two guys here are header. So this is column one row one or whatever column two row one actually so let me open it and show you actually because i'm here so um as you can see here the column one this is the column two and we have this first this first row of those two guys actually and we do the same for this here actually 
so you can add more if you want as long as you have all those index here specified here then you won't have any problem but if you have more than specified then this could be dangerous but if you want to know how you can create some cells for this table automatically you can also let me know in the comment section below but here the most important part was to know how to write inside of a table so i think the code is almost clear i don't have to explain a lot about so i'm just going to compile and let you see the effect so i just compile it so we have the program that has been uh, compiled so if i just write some couple of text let's say one two three four and then i say save so the, the document is going to be visible and you have the text appears inside of the box as you can see here. So it's simple, not complicated. You just have to understand the concept. So guys, I think that's all for now. Thank you for watching videos on Medico channel. So if you guys want to know more about coding in C Sharp, then you can visit my YouTube channel and there you will find a all playlist that will explain you how you can create a simple two-dimensional game like this here so a kind of a space shooter so don't leave without subscribing let me know in the comment section below if anything wasn't clear or if you have any questions i'm always open to critic thank you for everything see you next time